Hello, hello. Welcome to part three. Today, we're talking about the visual aspect of playing. L-O-V-E is a formula, spells love, lyrical, obvious, visual today, and tomorrow, expandable. If you have not seen the first two videos for lyrical and obvious, do so, because you're not gonna understand much about what is going on here. Uh, this formula, really, I was, um, exposed to that 23 years ago in a studio in Belgium. And uh, the guy told me uh, when I was lost, I didn't know what to play, he told me, put the guitar down and sing something and bam, here it was, the love formula. Today is the visual aspect. Now there's a backing track here. You should know this if you watch the other videos. We're using the same backing track, it's in G minor. It's irrelevant right now, we don't care about that. This backing track, the charts and all the videos on this series are available for free. Just uh, follow the link below and uh, sign up once. If you already signed up, you have access automatically to this mini masterclass and many other videos on the channel. Okay, visual is going to help us make that transition between understanding the source of the musical idea, which started with uh, the lyrical aspect, and then yesterday we covered the obvious aspect that just came through. And now it's time to replicate that, to translate that through our instrument, our pencil. I say this often, but it's such um, an important truth, I think. There's nothing that comes out of this piece of wood on its own. This is a, an instrument, it's a tool, it's your pencil. The pencil does not tell the story, the author does. We're gonna learn today how we can translate the thought through the pencil as fast as we can. And that's really important when you're playing, to have that connection. The visual is going to help us. So the, the visual is not about scales, about patterns and shapes, although it can help, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a mental picture, a mental visual picture. Yesterday, in yesterday's video, we left off with, uh, with an obvious lyrical theme. Da -da 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 -ba -dum -da -dum. So if I sing this over the track, da -da 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 -da. I can't remember this, the lyrical aspect. It was something with uh, maybe a bunny or something. Da -da 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 -da. Now we're gonna, oops, sorry, Ugh, my backing track is going crazy here. Okay, we're gonna take that theme and we're gonna visualize uh, a line, okay? The starting note is ba that's a dot, that is the, the flat line, okay? All the other notes that, are, that I'm gonna sing, all the other pitches are going to be found either on the line, above the line if I'm going higher, ba or below, ba. okay? And I wanna picture an image. So, da, ba, they're going high. Ba, ba, a little bit, ba, da, ba. That note, ba, ba, it's still above the line, right? So you got kind of like going up the mountain, ba, ba, climbing really high, ba, ba, make a big jump, ba, ba, we're almost at the, the, the summit, ba, ba, da, ba, 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 back on the line, ba, da. So the line does something like this, da, big jump, ba, going down, da, 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 ba, da, ba, back on the line, ba. So it's like a big, Big jump mountain, big peak, and then we end on maybe the first step of the mountain. So now that we have that visualization, that mental picture, it's easier to translate that on the instrument because we know that from ba ba, that jump, wherever I'm at, I'm gonna go towards the right and down and or down, right? So if I'm playing a note on the fifth string, Ba, ba. The next note is going to be on a higher fret or on a, a higher string, right? So that's what we have. So we're gonna find our first pitch. Ba, fish around. La, la. There it is. I'm on the fifth string, fifth fret. Da, ba. So I know that I'm going to be for the ba somewhere around here, right? I'm not gonna go any lower than that. I can eliminate that sixth string. I'm gonna be somewhere around, around here. So just take a chance. Ba, ba, ba. I got it. Da, da. That was the third string, seventh fret. Now, I got it. Some of you might not get it right away. But the more you do this, 
um, process of having the idea, visualizing what it looks like on, on a mental piece of paper, and then fishing around, the faster you'll be at finding those notes right away. I do this a lot, I wanna make a point. That, that, that will really help. I know that it seems like, okay, I'm slowing down here, but doing this, but you're not. You're saving yourself tons of time later on. So you can play something. Automatically, oh, that last note wasn't it, but that's the idea. So let's give that a try. I've got our theme, we've got our theme. Going down, so mental picture, I am on the, the second pitch is on the third string, seventh fret. Here it is, it's, I know that it's gotta be in the lower fret. The jump is not very big. Da, da, it's not da, bum. It's a short jump, so that means I'm probably on the same string, and I was. Da, da, fifth string, third fret. Da, da, that's a short jump, so I'm gonna be on the same string. Da, 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 da. On the third string, third fret. Or maybe I could play it here. Right here on the fourth string, um, eighth fret. But that's, that's kind of the, the process. Da, da, Once you have that theme, once you translated uh, the thought through the mental picture on your instrument, you wanna get comfortable with that. But that's the visual aspect. Now getting comfortable with that has to do a little bit with phrasing and uh, touching a little bit on development, which is gonna to be uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna talk about that with the expandable. So yes, expandable means development. But this theme that we found from the lyrics, the story, the obvious part just came out, and uh, translating that on the instrument, this theme is very, very important. I like to see an improvisation or a solo or a, a musical piece with your guitar with, on top of a musical bed as a river to be crossed. And it's not just a river like that. There are stones in there. This theme that we came up with is a stone you could rest on. And in between these stones, you've got to swim a little bit. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But that's what um, the, the uh, visual aspect is about. It's helping you translate that thought. So I'm gonna play a little bit with that theme. I'm gonna try it where I found it here. Listen to what it sounds like. And then we're gonna try it a different way. So here we go. Is that comfortable to play? Well, maybe, maybe not. Well, I'm kind of using two zones here, right? And visually, I can tell that. Now, the listener doesn't care if I'm doing playing here, transitioning here, or playing everything in the same zone. The, the pitches are the same. But visually, you can kind of tell. If you can help, um, if you can help it, Building a theme in the same slice of the fretboard will be very helpful tomorrow. But we're gonna try that. So instead of going dun, 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 here, I'm, I'm switching to a different position. I'm gonna start, try to find this pitch somewhere in that slice of the fretboard. And we have one here on the fourth string, eighth fret. I'm gonna play it like that. Everything is contained here, right? No jumps. Okay, so I like that, and I'm gonna try with my fingers. So many ways to playing that. Maybe I ought to add some bends. You try to develop that. In other words, you are, you are saying the same sentence in different ways, with a different accent, uh, with a different uh, character telling the story. The story is the same. The voice is a little bit different. And that's the development part. I'm gonna stop here because tomorrow we're gonna to, we're gonna continue on that development part with the the final piece of the formula, the love formula, lyrical, obvious, visual, and expandable tomorrow. Come back tomorrow, same time, same place. Make sure you download this back and track in the charts and do the exercise, which is to start with a story, the lyrical aspect, sing something, hum something, the stupidest the better. Uh, the first thing that comes to, to, 
to mind is probably the better. Draw, uh, translate that into a visual picture that will help you translate that onto the instrument. Tomorrow, we're going to expand on that and we're going to continue with that uh, analogy of the river to be crossed with different stepping stones, which are your themes that are born from the lyrical, obvious, and translated with the visual aspect. I'll see you tomorrow.